Confession Tuesday. Local life coach Rebecca Silence is in studio. Inspired results. Coach.com. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So um, how have you been? I feel I I've feel like good. I feel like I even though we see each other weekly, I feel like I haven't seen you seen you in, in forever ever. I know. Someone someone's been busy. That that yeah. someone's kind of you. Well, both of us. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm never busy. I yeah, have, I, have nothing, I have nothing going on ever. But I'm great. I'm really, really good. I'm glad to be here. I'm loving meeting all of these sidekick contestants. It's it's that's it, been fun. The the social experiment aspect of uh-huh. it is absolutely incredible. Well, this is hilarious to come in and watch every week. Yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> but it, yeah, yeah, Rebecca gets like a like a ringside seat to mm-hmm. the to this thing, which is <laughs> which is so funny. Uh, so here's how it works on a confession Tuesday. Um, Rebecca is a life coach. She is uh, here to help you get out of your own way and get the results that, you know, deep down you really want. Absolutely. The business is called Inspired Results because we have no agenda for anyone. It's all about you coming to the table, knowing what you want and just not quite sure how to get there. So I give you different tools and strategies to get you where you want to go. You caught me mid-coffee. Sorry. Okay. My bad. <laughs> all right. So uh, here's how it works. You go to cnykiss.com. And you tell us your story, and we handle it here on the air. There is a backlog of all kinds of segments and whatnot, and I realize it hasn't been updated in a couple weeks. That's my fault because I've been doing this thing called a sidekick search, and I have to teach everybody how to do everything. So <laughs> so get off my back, Jack. I'm working on it. All right? That'll be one of the, one of the things that whoever wins will help, help me with and stuff. So uh, you ready for... Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. This is uh, today's email. Dear Rebecca and Big Papa... My son is 15, and he's going through a weird, angsty phase. He dyed his hair jet black, he listens to moody music, and he's hanging with, in quotes, goths. You know what I mean. Those kids that dress in all black and complain that life is nothing but pain and sadness. Is this just a phase? Should I tell him he can't dress like he does or hang out with who he wants? Great email. Thank you so much. Some of you may know my background is actually in school counseling. My master's is in counseling. I was working in schools for seven years, then a school counseling coordinator for a year. And what I want people to understand about this rebellion time in the teenage years is that it's critically important. This is a stage of development that is necessary and everyone goes through it from about 8 to 12 years old if you're looking at Erickson stages of development 8 to 12 is around when we have our role that we're given in the family everybody has this unconscious job description so a lot of times they'll be a good girl or, or a bad one they'll be a smart one so when be you a say funny there, one. so when you say there's the black sheep of the family that's actually kind of that can happen <laughs> okay not in every family okay but what I'm saying is in every family we have roles there might be a caregiver or a peacekeeper or the comedian in every family there's roles from about 8 to 12 years old okay then from 13 to 18 there's this rebellion phase yeah it's called puberty right and but literally <laughs> kids are testing am i who i am in my family or the opposite who am i in the world okay so from 8 to 12 we're trying to figure out who we are in our family from 13 to 18 we're looking at who am i in the world Wow. Right. So this happens for everyone. And I see it a lot in the private practice where if I have parents who are really strict or trying to micromanage, we call them like the helicopter parents, their kids from 13 to 18, they might think that they're out of the woods and that their kids skipped the rebellion phase. But then they're just going to rebel in their 20s and 30s. Yeah. They're not going to skip it. They're going to have to eventually figure out who they are in the world. And remember, brains aren't fully developed until about 30. So there's a lot of experimentation. With most people. With everyone. Mine's mine's still developing. Right. But at about 30, (laughs) our our brains are fully developed in some schools of thought. And so just know that the rebellion phase. That's the truth. I'm screwed. The rebellion (laughs) phase. oh, Oh, you're fine. But it's going to happen. And so if you are trying to prevent it in that. 13 to 18 age range just know that at least in the 13 to 18 age range they're under your roof they're still in your supervision i i think of it as it's a safe space to figure out who you are of course you want to have rules and boundaries and you're not letting your kids just get away with anything but it's still normal for that age group, they're not doing anything wrong or bad. They're trying to figure out who they are in the world. And if you prevent it, and I've seen it happen so much, especially the kids I started working with 
10, 12 years ago in schools, looking at them now, a lot of them are, are Facebook friends with me. I've seen some that actually kind of experimented in their 20s and made some bad decisions and had to figure it out when they were out on their own as opposed to under their parents' roof. Do you find that um, a lot of parents um, are really trying to pigeonhole what they want their kids to be? And I, I think that's maybe part of what this email is like it, mm-hmm. it almost it almost scares them they don't want their child to be this way mm-hmm. does that does that make sense yeah i think that anything that's going on from 13 to 18 probably isn't going to stick i can't say for sure whether or not it's a phase i know i went through a year in high school where i did the golf thing i did a year in Actually, high school i remember that yeah, yeah I, I did remember that yeah Gary and I have known each other forever. Then I was a hippie for a year. I mean, I I tried on different versions of myself. (laughs) Yeah, until I figured out who I was. And this is true for everyone. So just know that anything that you're trying to impose on your child, they're probably going to fight you on. And it's not going to be a good thing. I mean, when I was a school counselor and we're trying to figure out what you're wanting to do after high school, there would be kids that that I was going to do this because this is what my parents told me I had to do. Well, a lot of times they end up dropping out of college if they're not going to college for them because of the career that they're looking for. So they're going to eventually have to find their way on their own. And I think it's okay to give your opinions if your child is asking for it. If they're not asking, they're probably not going to hear you. It'll be like the Charlie Brown teacher. Oh, wah, 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 very wah, true. Right? Very true. But if they're asking, you can give them your opinion, but then say, whatever you do, I'm going to be proud of you. I think that's a line that is so important that kids need to hear from their parents. Whatever you do, I'm going to be proud of you. What do you want? What excites you? I remember I told my parents that I wanted to go to college for music therapy. That's my undergrad was in. And my, my father's like, well, what is that? Like, I don't even know what that is. Why would I pay for school? I don't even know what it is. So I took him to lunch and I talked to him about it and I shared with him all the things that music therapists could do. And I basically enrolled him to, okay, all right, go, go, go do music therapy. But I think it's so important for parents to listen. I was really grateful my dad listened what to what I had to say and what I was excited about. And if you listen, instead of trying to change your child, you're going to have much more success at staying close and connected to your child. And, and no matter what, you know, and here's something to remember, too. No matter, you know, what clothes they're wearing or how they do their hair or, mm-hmm. you know, jewelry or whatever, they're still on the inside at their core the same person. Yeah. And a lot of and a lot of people miss that. Mm-hmm. And you know they you know all of a sudden they start going into judge with themselves because you know the exterior change but at its at the kid's core the kid is still the kid mm-hmm. the same kid that you know that you've raised you know from from birth up so and it's true for adults too i mean we're not the choices we're we're making we're making choices that are coping skills for the moment and so i like what you're saying that yeah everyone is who they really are underneath all of whatever it is that they're doing on the outside. But I encourage communication. I have so many kids that I work with in the private practice that I've seen go through phases, incredibly successful, and they will cross that finish line. They will have success and find themselves eventually and just know that what's happening right now is what happens to every single person on the planet. Your your kid is not doing anything out of the norm. They're not an alien. This is what happens to all of us. Either that or what you can do, uh, parent that emailed us, is you can start dressing like your teenager <laughs> and uh, think it's really cool and you know, and play that role for about a week and then all of a sudden they will absolutely change. I, <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe not. But the thing about it is, is when your kids feel supported, it might change what they're doing. They might be acting out because they don't feel supported or because they're trying to be seen or heard. And the more supported they are, the faster they'll find who they are. InspiredResultsCoach.com is the website. Uh, Rebecca Silence is in Studio Confession Tuesday. Uh, Another segment coming up next here on KISS FM.